Hello guys, welcome to our education video for health and safety risk assessment analysis. I'm Navin. I am Faiz. I'm Tinesh Verma. I am Amir. I'm Abhimanyu. I'm Aisha. This is an educational video and we are going to have a look in the health and safety risk assessment in Playground. So why Playground? Is it like necessary to assess the hazard and risk in this place? Isn't it just a fun place meant to enjoy? Yes, it is. But it is also important to, to identify the risks in playground in order to minimize accidents and unwanted incidents. So, let's get into this video to learn more. First, slides is a common playground equipment. However, slides that are exposed to extreme climates may have hazards such as slippery due to rain and broken parts due to overexposure towards sunlight. This may cause harm towards children. There are also chances for the slides to break easily. Besides, another equipment to be shed some light is the swings. Cable swings attached to steel bars is a common playground item. However, there are also hazards hidden in swings. Cables or chains that are not strong may result in detachment of swing and bars. This may lead to accidents. Moreover, gaps between each swing should be also maximized in order to reduce the risk of collision. So the next part is seesaw. So the potential risk of a seesaw is not having a strong spring. So this will possibly give the children uh, the risk of falling to the ground, which will lead to head and body injuries. So the way to prevent it is by inspecting the spring, whether it is strong enough or referring to the warranty and certificate of the spring. The next equipment is staircase and other climbing equipments such as monkey bar. Due to excessive usage and exposure to extreme climate, these equipments are damaged and broken. This has a potential cause to cause an injury to the kids. To prevent this, these equipments need to be regularly checked by related authorities. Okay, for F is untightened bolts and screw. Um, this can like affect the kids or like the children playing around in the playground because if uh, they are like playing with the slides, uh, for example, and unaware of the slides, they may just occur. The small like incident uh, can happen anytime where they are like uh, their clothes or or uh, pants will stuck at the um, slides due to the untightened bolts and screw earlier. Also, they can like. Fall, uh, they can like fell off uh, from this slide and this can like happen to a lot more of other children if uh, the damages are not being fixed instantly. Okay, so the way like we can mitigate the, the case is by informing uh, the maintenance officer regarding this matter. Okay, so for E is sandy ground, uh, uneven and uh, rough surface. It uh, will also make uh, form mud puddles and uh, injuries. So for injuries uh, towards uh, children or those who are like playing at the uh, playground is, uh, for example, uh, it will cause like minor injuries such as like tripping. Okay, so uh, the way uh, to like mitigate the effect is by taking this matter seriously and make sure that there is no trip hazard, for example, and even uh, surfaces. At the playground. Damaged rubber mat. The potential risk of the damaged rubber mat could have a trip hazard. The hole on the damaged rubber mat might be found. It can cause harm to people, especially to children. What is the effects of the damaged rubber mat? The damaged rubber mat can cause children to accidentally fail. This accident can cause injuries to those children. 
the part of their bodies that have a high potential to get the injuries are head and knees. This become more serious if their head hit the pulls or sharp object. It may cause fatal or loss of memories. And ways to minimize the risk is by doing monthly inspection. The responsibilities should replace the damaged part of the rubber mat based on the report 